Hello everyone, my name's Skaterboy and in this video I'm going to show you how to overclock your controller. I know, it's pretty crazy, you don't want any latency, you want to have it direct, you don't want to be missing out on fights and having that 0.5 delay guys, you want to have the best possible latency you can. And in this video I'm going to show you how, it's quite easy to do, how to video, it's going to be step by step guide guide. Let's get straight into the video, let's have a look. Alright guys. So the first step you want to do is enter the link, guys. I'm going to have it in the description down below so you can easily find it. After you've hit the GitHub link, it's going to bring up to the GitHub site. Once you're in the GitHub site here, you're going to be a, want to scroll down to the third option here, the zip folder. Once clicking on that zip folder, you want to click the download button on the right-hand side. After clicking the download button, I'm going to do this step as well so I can show you how to do it. You want to go to here, click open, open the folder. Find where it says driver. Once you've found where it says driver up the top right of your screen here, you can click extract all. Click extract all. Browse whereabouts you want to put it on your computer. Me personally, I just want to put it on the desktop so it's easy to find. So we can do this step by step guide. Whack it onto the desktop, select folder, and then do that step. I'm not going to do that step because I've already got it on the desktop. After you now have it on the desktop, you'll see this driver folder. Once you've got it opened, You'll then scroll down and you will see a setup option here. What you want to do is click that setup option, click yes to enable it. After you go into this next section here, you're going to see the input devices. It's going to be automatically on mice. You want to change that bad boy to all. So you can see all the devices plugged into your PC at the same time. Now that you're in this all section, you're going to be able to see the Xbox One controller. Or you're going to be able to see whichever your name of your controller is on the right hand side section here. It's going to say wireless controller, USB controller, or a PS4 controller, or vice versa. Whatever controller you got, that's what's going to come up. Now, to overclock your controller, use this step by step guide. Click on the control, click install service, click open. After you've done that, click rate. Click this on a thousand, click install service. Once you've done the rate on a thousand, make sure you do filter on device, untick or tick that option, install service. After you've done that three times, all, th all them three steps, unplug your controller. Now, after you've unplugged the controller, it's automatically going to move and delete from there. Once you plug the controller back into the PC, it's now going to come up and you should see the options Xbox One controller for me. Yes, a thousand and one, which means one input delay or one millisecond delay, which means you're on the fastest delay. Guys, I'm going to quickly go through these steps again. Xbox One controller, 1000 rate, filter on the device bottom left corner here, click install service, click open, unplug the controller, plug the controller back in, and after you've plugged it back in, it should say yes for filter, 1000 and then one. After that has been completed, that is it. You do not have to go back in and do that every time you start your computer up or start your stream up or vice versa. It will be then and set for the whole entire time. If you do notice that your control is a little bit laggy or la lagging behind, you feel your aim's a little bit off, check that folder again. Make sure that it says yes, 1001. And if it does, it means it's on, it's working, and you got that one millisecond delay. Guys, this is it for the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed the content and hopefully... You loved knowing how to overclock your controller because I can tell you I didn't know you could overclock your controller and it does help out tenfold. I feel that when you don't have your controller overclocked, it's laggy. You, you move and then it moves. After you've overclocked it, it's instant, it's direct, and it's what you want, especially for them FPS games. Guys, if you're loving the content, hit that like button, share it out to your friends, and of course, if you're not following, hit that follow button, baby. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys.